Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining our session for today here at the Virtual Assistance um, 101 series. And for today, we're going to tackle data entry jobs. So technically, pag sinabi natin data entry jobs, sa so madalit sabi, data encoding. I remember uh, there was a time na kapag work ako sa Systems Technology Institute or STI, and that was in Kaloocan, when back in 19... O, di ba, magkakabukingan tayo ng edad nito eh. When back in 1990, uh, unang pinag-uusapan noon yung pagkikreate ng data entry course. And I, I was part of, uh, I, I got the opportunity to roll out yung first data entry course namin sa STI Kaloocan at that time. So, I remember then nung nag-apply ako for uh, one of my para mga early job pursuits kasi noon talagang uso yung mga data entry jobs no talagang papasok ka sa isang opisina at wala kang gagawin kundi mag data entry so naranasan ko rin mag-apply na data encoder and uh, dati pag nag-apply ka pa sa ahensya yung mga job placement agency may mga job openings pa no na data encoder na mapa-place ka sa mga iba't ibang companies na ang gagawin mo lang talaga magte-data encoding ka no tapos gumagamit kami ng program noon na typing test tapos mag-aaral ka gagalingan mo yung pag-type mo pag mabagal ka mag-type like yung isang na-applyan ko tatanungin kanila kung gusto mong mag-participate sa isang training kasi yung training nila hindi free magbabayad ka uh, technically parang magre-report ka ron for one week papagamit nila yung computer facilities nila sa iyo maghapon wala kang gagawin kundi mag-practice ng data entry using yung mga ginagamit nila. At kapag after one week pumasa ka, then pwede ka nang mabigyan ng trabaho in a sense. No? Pero alam ko nag-try yata ako, mag nagbayad yata ako, pero hindi ko rin tinapos yung uh, training. Pero ito was an interesting experience. At talagang nakita ko rin talaga na maraming opportunity for data entry. And until today, for as long as we collect data, you can say that there are a lot of opportunities uh, for data entry work, no? Um, teka, napansin ko nandito na pala si JM, and I'm also going to make him as panelist. All right? So, JM, thank you very much, and welcome to the session. And then, JM, of course, you can uh, uh, join in at any time uh, to add your inputs. By the way, JM was also our guest during the Freelancer Bootcamp series na pinost natin online at kung saan nagbibigay din siya ng inputs niya and GM is also um, experience din siya in getting data entry jobs sa mga online sites like Upwork and the likes, no? Alright, so let's get started. So ano ba yung mga requirements pag sinabi natin gusto natin kumuha na isang data entry job? So basically, the skills that are needed for data entry jobs include eye on details. Kailangan hindi yung nag-encode nag ka lang for the sake of encoding. Kailangan nandun yung attention mo na tama yung tinatype mo. Kung na, na wala kang pagkakamali sa kanya, kaya nga meron tayo mga tinatawag din na mga proofreaders. So kailangan fast ka, mabilis ka. At kailangan accurate ka. Hindi ito yung pwede na para bang patumpik-tumpik ka lang na sige, nagtatype lang ako, cool lang ako, chillax lang ako, para pabagal-bagal ka lang. Hindi, mataas ang expectation dito in terms of uh, speed and accuracy. At maganda rin kung may sinusunod kang process. No? So for equipments, you can have a desktop or laptop and fast internet. And there are instances also that maybe depending on the need, uh, depending on the work that is given to you, Misan, kailangan mo rin siguro mag-type from a smart device, whether ta tablet siya or mobile phone siya, lalo na kung medyo nag-field work ka. Uh, kailangan mabilis ka rin. I remember may mga nakasabay akong reporters before, nung nag-cover pa ako ng mga events, yung mga reporters na binibigyan ng BlackBerry. Kailangan after the event, magkapag-submit sila ng isang 300-word story at usually tinatype nila yun sa BlackBerry device nila. So you can just imagine from a small screen, tinatype mo yung buong story mo at madalas nang kinocompose mo pa. From, kinocompose mo yung story mo, binubuo mo yung story mo from your head. Tapos tinatype mo na siya diretso sa isang BlackBerry device. Um, nung panahon na uso pa yung communicator, yung mga Nokia... 9310, uh, 90, uh, ano yun? 9110, 9210, no? 
uh, pwede ka rin gumawa ng mga stories doon. And of course, a lot of people are also using their, their tablets now for that. So, equipment can have certain flexibilities, but of course, you have to choose the platform that will be easier for you. Normally, pag data encoding, mas maganda ang screen. Pag malaki, tapos buo ang keyboard, misa mas madaling mag-type para hindi rin naman mahirapan o mas stress ang iyong mga hands. And for your software, uh, you might be required to have office productivity tools or you, you might have, or a tool may be provided by your client uh, for that. So, may mga ilang platforms na pwede kang mag-apply for data entry jobs. Of course, there's the usual suspects, no? yung mga usual na pwede pag-applyan like freelancer.com, upwork.com, fiverr.com, and the likes. Pero ito rin mga sites na to ay pwede nyo i-check out. Pero bago tayo mag-apply ng work, importante, matest ninyo kung kaya nyo na ba talaga mag-participate. Uh, pwede na ba talaga kayo mag-apply. So there are tools that you can use like ganatype.com, for example, kung gusto nyo mag-take ng test, you can visit this website. At para ma-check mo kung kamusta ang iyong data entry test. So sabi dito, through this data entry test, you will find out what is your average speed for data entry measured in words per minute. Tapos meron daw mag mag-check ng iyong typing accuracy after the 60 seconds time challenge. So kung interesado kayo, you can you can uh, use this one. No? So for example, kung... kung Magtitake tayo ng test na to. Hindi ko lang kung magtitake yun tayo. Ayan. So, halimbawa, gusto natin magtake ng test. So, blind would equal while O, M, R, go, style. Oh. O, diba? So, kung tutusin, kung medyo madali kang ma-distract, uh, may hihirapan kang mag-type. O gagaya niyan, nagpupula. So, ibig sabihin, yung pulang yon, pwedeng nagkamali ako, no? Uh, ideally kasi, uh, minimize ang iyong uh, mistakes. Kasi, kung merong nag-check ng gawa mo, um, makikita. Bakit nag ano So, bumababa na. Equally welcome her set. Nothing has gravity. Weather parties. Refills. Rose. Shyness. Oh! Anong sabi niya? Ay, anong ginawa niya? Okay. Hindi natin nakita, no? So, sabi niya rito, correctly spelled 27 words per minute. Kasi pwedeng mabilis ka mag-type, pero... Um, yun, kagaya ko, pabalik-balik ako kasi may mga kinokorek ako. Kapos habang nagta-type ako, nagsasalita ako. So, automatically distracted ako. So, I'm not really typing at my best speed. So, usually, pag gusto mo mag-apply ng data entry work, ang kadalasan na makikita mo yung mga talaga nag-hire ng data encoders, ang hinahanap na nila ngayon, mga 75 words per minute. At uh, mataas ang kanya accuracy rate. Yung iba ang hinahanap nila, 90% accuracy. So sa test na to mapapansin nyo, 27 words per minute lang ako at ang aking accuracy ay nasa 67.5% na accuracy level. So kung malakihan at marami yung ginagawa mo, hindi ideal. Pag ganito ka, bak- hindi ka papasa no? dun sa ina-applyan mo. Lalo na kung talagang i-require ka na mag-live uh, data entry test. So another uh, test, ito yung tinatawag nilang the 10 key touch, okay? So the 10 the 10 keypad is the group of numbers and symbols on the right side, most of the keyboards. It can also be a number pad with no keyboard attached. So 10 key speed is measured with a keystroke per hour test. So ito yung parang tinatawag din nating ano, yung yung sa full keyboard na nandoon lang lahat ng mga numbers. So halimbawa kagaya ko na yung keyboard ng aking uh, desktop, wala akong number keypad. So, dahil wala akong number keypad, hindi ako makakapag-test para this one, no? Yung 10 key uh, by touch kung gagamit ako ng notepad, no? Pero pero still, no? Maganda to para matry nyo rin siya. So, pwede nyo siyang puntahan. Okay. At kung gusto nyo isang, isang itry, pwede nyo rin siyang itry. 
So halimbawa, punta tayo ng full 10 key test. Tingnan, tingnan nga natin yung full 10 key test na yan. Kaya misa kung gusto mo, imbis na mag-games ka, gusto mo, ito ang pag-anohan mo, <laughs> pag-practicean mo. Okay, so halimbawa, 0 point, kaya lang wala akong keypad eh, kaya medyo mabagal talaga tayo for this one, no? 7743.39 minus 44.61. Kaya kung medyo hindi mo kabisado yung keyboard mo, um, yung sanay ka na nag input ka ng, ng nakatingin, uh, medyo talo ka na sa kanya. Kasi um, yung time mo na tumitingin ka, titingin ka sa screen, titingin ka pa sa keyboard, <clears throat> marami na mauubos na Oras sa you for that, no? <coughs> Bigla nag-echo yung aking boses, ah. Sumali. 81, 98.91, 41.03, plus 36.8. Yun lang, para pag imagine mo in real life, talaga ba galito ka mag-type na parang may, may humahabol sa sa'yo, no? Kasi iniisip mo. Shucks, yung aking uh, words per minute. Oh, okay. Accuracy, correction three, um, ang total keystrokes, 98. No? Kaya lang, uh, hindi ako nakalag in to, sa, to save yung aking progress. <clears throat> okay? So, this is an, another example. So, ito naman, kung gusto nyo subukan, um, ito, si thepracticetest.com. Okay? So, si thepracticetest.com, uh, siya yung una kong tinry kanina. So, halimbawa dito, nag-freelance typing test ako, tinipe ko lang yun nasa taas. So, ayan. Pag naka, dito, naka 77 words per minute ako or 23,100 keystrokes per hour. Pero, syempre, freelance, ano kasi siya, tawag doon? Uh, freestyle. No? Freestyle yung tawag sa kanya. So, kapag halimbawa gusto mo mag, ano, like halimbawa, street address practice, ito, magta-type ka ng street address. So ito, pwede mo itong subukan, pwede mo i-take itong test na ito. Kasi, di ba, uh, lalo na kung US ang client mo, kadalasan ang mga street address na ita-type mo, puro mga foreign na uh, street address. So, meron daw 713 characters itong test na ito. So, subukan natin siya. Sige. 10, 6... Ah, mali na kagad. 10, 6, 3, 7. No. Bolivar, 12... 606 Kings Circle. Then, oh. O, diba? So, nako, yung colon. Then, 63. Beaver. Kaya po medyo alangang ka sa ginagawa mo o distracted ka. Pwede magka-problem ka. Kaya kailangan, pag nag, bago kayo mag-apply for any data entry job at bigyan ka ng test, make sure na kayo ay praktisado. Okay? Confident kayo sa inyong ability. Kasi kung hindi, uh, hindi porket magaling kang mag-type, assumption mo na kagad, mabilis lang siyang gawin. Kasi iba yung nagtatype ka ng freestyle o tinatype mo lang yun nasa isip mo, iba yung meron kang kinokopya. Okay. Uh, kadalasan pa yung mga kinokopya mo, pwedeng uh, plain document siya na pwedeng from a book, may pinapakopya sa'yo, o kaya uh, mga business cards, no? pinapadata pinapa entry sa'yo na hindi basta-basta pwedeng idaan sa scanning. Uh, normally, kasi yung mga data entry work, kapag may nagpo-proofread niyan, uh, nakakaunt nila eh, yung level of accuracy mo. So, kapag alimbawang marami kang errors, kapos hindi ka nag improve pwede maging basis din yun para huwag ka na nilang kunin for any succeeding, succeeding job opportunity pa. Lalo na kung yung hinahanap nila ay yung mga reliable talaga, no? Okay? So, I hope you're also trying the test para makita nyo <laughs> kung ano yung experience in taking the test. Uh, maganda yung mga ganitong classing test kasi yung mga words kasi may tendency ka pa na parang kinakabisado mo lang yung words eh. So, 
yung pag ganito na medyo unexpected ka kung ano yung makikita mo. So, mas talaga naka, ano ka, sa um, mem- keyboard memory mo rin, no? At yung coordination, uh, speed ninyo. Ang maganda naman sa encoding, lalo na kung nasanay ka, gaya ko natuto akong mag-touch touch typing nung mga 90s dahil nga nag-una ako nagturo ng data entry. So kahit na hindi na ako nagde-data entry uh, job, parang by default, ganun ka na mag-type kasi nasanay ka na eh, no? So hindi naman siya basta-basta nawawala rin yung skill. Kaya lang, syempre, uh, kailangan may practice, no? Kasi kung wala kang practice, um, ano yan? 14, 7, 38. B, lane. Diba nag-doubt pa ako kung tama yung ginawa ko. Providence, circle, 15. Okay. So, mapansin nyo, kinakount niya. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Kasi pag hindi naman ako nagsalita, baka kalain nyo. Wala na, wala na nagsasalita. Uh, JM, siguro habang kinukumpleto ko tong uh, speed test na to, um, can you share yung experience mo when trying to look for a job before for data entry? Oh, the speed still matters para dun sa mga clients mo. Uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, JM. The speed, the speed okay. matters. Accuracy matters. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Of course, uh, speed matters. Uh, but minsan, um, minsan, um, you don't have to be really, really fast. But you have to be accurate. Uh, one example: the existing client we are uh, six in the team. I gave I gave this client in Singapore uh, six the entry data entry slash team. So para uh, they of course they want they want them to be really fast they, to work really fast. But napansin ko uh, some of them yung mga ba kasi uusay apat yung pinasok ko but I have to add two more people because maraming um, maraming nadagdag na trabaho so I had to add two more people eh yung dalawang tao na yon um they're of course they're new and uh, the other four have been working for them for the past i mean one and a half years so of course malaki yung malaki yung ano eh malaki yung learning curve Ma- mm-hmm. mahaba yung learning curve because you have to teach them uh from top i mean diba mm-hmm. um top to bottom i ano sila i, i- train sila ulit And they have to repeat because because they've committed a lot of errors. They have to repeat. And akala nila kasi minsan ang data entry work is just a simple copy and paste. But the truth of the matter is hindi siya ganon. So when you do data entry, most of the time you also do research. But doing research is not just about typing something on Google, although basically ganon siya. But right now you have to do some sort of Boolean technique. If you're looking for an information inside the website, hindi ka lang mag, you don't you don't just uh, depend on on your mouse and then just look around. No, you have to have a way for you to be able to find the information really quick inside the website. So if you're looking for a contact information about a specific person inside the website or a specific word or words inside the website, you have to be able to know how to find it really well. So kung isang libo na yung blog post doon sa isang website or blog, uh, you don't have all the time to really find that specific information, no? yung word or words na yon. So you have to have a way to find out no? really fast. So gagamit ka ng Boolean technique. So one way to, to do Boolean technique is to use Google Operator. So um, paano ba? Uh, JM? Actually, nag- yes. pinag-aralan namin yun during the web research last session. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, I don't have to, to show you guys. So, hahanap, uh, may mga Google operators para silang, uh, uh, yeah, keywords na, I mean, not really keywords, but 
uh, it's a way no para siyang tactic for you to be able to find that information for example uh, if you're looking for a uh, banana cake inside the inside the website inside the recipe website so you type banana space cake and then space the word site and then no space colon and then the website so you have to have the http colon and then the website itself the domain so right there makukuha mo na yung information yung may magkakaroon ng search result doon sa google and then click the ones that you're looking for so ganun siya kabilis so um for data entry for data entry specialist you have to know that those basics and of course you have to be able to really speak very well so minsan kasi yung mga clients um of course in any industry if you pay peanuts you get monkeys but then right now um tumataas na yung the way the way clients look uh, look at data entry specialist if mura nga yung nakuha mong data entry specialist but you cannot talk to them wala ring mangyayari nung one time i had to i had to get some people uh very urgent so uh, i had to check on upwork and freelancer to get parang mga people from bangladesh and uh india yung mga locals talaga i can get like two dollars and all so makikipagay ulo ko because i cannot talk to them uh nag try ko and then uh, i i got them to work for several hours pero talaga because i cannot talk to them wala rin siya ang kwenta I had to go back and get Filipino. So I think you know advantage na as Filipinos and the uh, yung ginagawa ng government yung DICT uh, na um, yung rural impact sourcing. I think it's it's a dapat natin i-focus yung yung English proficiency talaga which is ay kakalimutan ng ng Department of Education. We have uh, there's a deep decline on English proficiency. So I think while we are teaching our kids, while we are teaching our students to really become uh, ex savvy, no, to become skilled on specific um, um, industry, sa natin sa internet, uh, sa sa e-commerce, sa all, uh, we also have to teach them how to effectively communicate to clients, because minsan iba yung the way you communicate online and also the way you communicate face to face, no. So yeah. Uh, JM, normally kapag uh, nun, pag nag apply ka ng FEB for data entry jobs, uh, do clients test your speed? Most of the time, not anymore. Kasi, um, because ako yung, ano, ako yung uh, high manager, um, I don't get to be uh, get tested. Basta sinasabi ko na I can vouch for their, for their skills sabihin ko lang na um, how many people do you need and what what are the kind of uh, information we're looking for so ganun um and uh, for the most part hindi na pero siguro kung individual ka they still they do that pero depende rin depende pa rin sa client because i don't think they will have time to really to really test or minsan kasi ang lagi nilang ang, ang Tapos ko kasi ngayon, hindi na test yung ano eh, yung tinitest nila eh, yung speed ng internet mo. <laughs> lagi na test, lagi nila ipapakita na, okay, can you test and then, um, um, ah, uh, need the result of your speed, eh, internet speed test, parang yun. So, ganun lang lagi, napansin ko pala, hindi na sila yung pag-typing test and all, kasi may mga kasama naman kung hindi na mabilis mag-type eh, but they get the job done. So, so I guess depende sa volume. Uh, I'm not saying na hindi importante. So I guess yes, exactly. Uh, depende sa client because natin ganon. The client needs it. Exactly, exactly. That in uh, during you know, during uh, 2008, 2010, ganon pa siya. They 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 have to through type of speed test ganito. Pero napapansin ko for the past for the past four years or five years hindi na ganun yung pinapagawa nila usually ang speed ng internet mo because they need reliability they need to be able to communicate with you kaya mas siguro mas maraming mga clients ang kinukuha nila yung mga Filipino talaga because at least you can speak well no hindi mahirap kita mahirap kausap 
And I guess yung data entry, mas critical din. Yung speed and accuracy, lalo na siguro kapag transcription talaga yung gagawin mo. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, I agree. Kapag transcription, speed is, uh, speed is of the essence. Okay. And of course, transcription, we will talk about on May 4. I have little, uh, yes, exactly. I have little uh, experience kasi sa transcription because I find it really, really uh, tasking. It's uh, um, masakit sa ulo. All right. Thank you very much. Sige. So, tuloy na natin yung ating discussion and then we will ask more from JM as well. So, I hope nakita niyo yung mga iba't ibang test na pinagtitake natin habang nag-aano tayo kanina. Habang, habang nagsasalita si JM, nagtitake tayo ng mga iba't ibang test, no? So, mapapansin nyo, as I took more tests, medyo nag-i-improve yung, nag yung WPM natin, yung words per minute o yung keystroke per hour. Although maybe there are jobs na hindi magiging ganun ka-sensitive yung keystrokes per hour mo. Pero when you are doing transcriptions, lalo na yung makikinig na kayo ng mga audio and video files and you have to transcribe, kapo sabihin sa'yo, kailangan within one hour, mapadala mo na yung transcription na malinis. Then definitely your listening and your typing speed like typing speed will be of the essence at i-discuss natin yan sa ating next session. Alright, so tuloy lang natin, no? So to apply for data entry jobs, may mga iba't iba tayong options. Actually, maraming websites na pwede kang mag-apply ng data entry jobs. But uh, a big number of them require you to be from the US, kaya hindi natin siya masali dito. Of, although, of course, pwede kang mag-apply sa Upwork, sa Freelancer.com, Fiverr.com, pwede makakuha ka pa ng mga data entry jobs doon, o kagaya sa case na JM, na pwedeng client na niya yun for other things, kapos bibigyan din siya ng additional data entry jobs that is usually tied to web research. Kaya yung data entry jobs, hindi necessarily data entry job siya alone, talagang, unless talagang meron lang pinapa-input sa'yo coming from something like a, a hard copy or image file na kailangan mo i-convert. Pero in some cases, pwedeng mini-research ka at i-data entry mo siya or may pinapakinggan ka, i-data entry mo siya. Kaya yung web research natin, data entry, at saka transcription, medyo interrelated. Although, pag-connected sa web research, hindi lang siya data entry skills. Kailangan meron kang web research skills as we discussed in our last session. At ganun din naman, kung from listening, mag-data entry ka, then that means meron ka rin... Uh, Maganda rin, magaling din ang iyong listening skills saka grammar and uh, spelling skills kasi wala kang spelling guy, wala kang kinokopyahan. Talagang literally from how you listen to it, ito type mo siya. Kaya kung mali ka mag-spelling to begin with, pwedeng affected yung ine-encode mo. Pero for this one, specifically for data entry jobs. So kung apart from the Upwork, Freelancer.com, uh, Fiverr.com, here are also some sites where you can apply for data entry jobs, uh, nandiyan si Action Data. Si Action Data Entry Services, napapansin ko, uh, tumatanggap naman siya, no? Um, although, hindi ko nga lang masabi kung tumatanggap siya ng from outside the US. Although kasi dito, dahil walang nakalagay na country, so baka pwede natin i-assume na from outside the US siya. Pero just in case na tumatanggap siya within the US, pwede nyo rin namang i-try, no? Pero if you want to try other sites, uh, like for example, uh, clickworker.com, ito naman si Clickworker. Teka, isarado ko na si Clickworker. Wala, nasa na si Clickworker? Okay, mukhang nasarado ko yata si clickworker.com kanina. Hold on, ha? Alright, for Clickworker... Try natin kung makakalagin na tayo. Ah, okay. So, sa click worker, meron kang mga makikitang jobs. Tapos, pwede mo makita kung pwede siyang ma-assign sa'yo, no? Although, kung client ka, pwede ka rin pumunta dyan at uh, mag-create ng jobs. So, while waiting for that, na makalag-in tayo, 
Uh, another site that you can also look for a job, I see microworkers.com. So the moment na makapag-create ka na account, may mga makikita ka mga iba't ibang jobs dito. Although usually mix siya, no? Uh, yung iba dyan, makita nyo, iOS app testing, download, install, screenshot. Tapos bibigyan, pag nagawa mo na siya, bibigyan ka ng 0.41 cents. O kaya uh, panel station, sign up, 0.10 cents. Android game, 0.28 US cents. Pero ito kasi mga mabibilis lang siyang trabaho, no? Iba sign up and post. Um, so ito medyo halo-halo siya, no? Rather than data entry alone. Pero still, since speed is of the essence, um, malaking bagay siya. So kung medyo mabilis kang um, gumawa ng trabaho, then malaki yung possibility na mas marami kang opportunities na makukuha at Um, mas marami ka rin magagawang jobs. No? So you can check this out at microworkers.com uh, slash job. Alright? Tapos, another site that you can also join I see mturk.com o si Amazon Amazon um, a Mechanical Turk. So sa Amazon Mechanical Turk, iba-iba yung mga pinapagawa niya. So misa nagpapabrowse siya ng mga websites magpapajoin siya ng mga service. Tapos misa may mga pinapa-verify din siya. And then of course, merong iba dyan na magta-type ka. Um, minsan may mga makikita ka rin data entry. So, but still, kung gusto mong makakuha ng mga work, although ito kasi, parang hindi siya cash payment. Gaya ito, collect data from company website. So, yung collect data from company website, yan yung sinasabi ni JM na medyo may data, may konting web research siya as you do data entry. Kasi minsan nag-ano to eh, um, yung iba kasi dito para mga nag-UI testing. So, may mga questions silang i-ask, tinitingnan nila kung makikita mo. Then, ibig sabihin, pag nakita mo, then, pwede yung ano, tama yung pagkaka, pagkakagawa nila. No? Tapos, uh, sa click worker naman, uh, meron kayong mga makikitang assessments. So, tingin tayo dun sa assessments. Yes, JM. JM, feel free to add, no? Yes, ma'am. Um, meron akong isang client. Um, client ko pa rin na siya hanggang ngayon. Um, may mas sensitive data kasi sila. Parang bank. Bank sa, uh, dito sa, um, uh, sa Poland. Mm -hmm. Poland kasi sila. So, dahil sensitive yung data nila, ang ginagawa namin, tatlo lang naman yung mga tao doon. Uh, they, have to, they have to use VPN. Pasok muna sila doon before they can even access the web, uh, the um, server nila so we can do data entry. Para alam nila kung ano yung mga ina-access mo while you're working. Kung halimbawa, kinaka, parang kinaka-capture mo. Pero silang sinend na kasi yung pinadownload sa amin eh, na nagra-run yun dun sa computer system namin uh, while working. So alam nila kung nag-screenshot ka, kung nag-save ka, you can put it in your system. And all. So ganun, uh, VPN. So lahat ng mga traffic na ginagawa, na ginagawa while working is pagpunta sa kanila, nare-review ng parang IT specialist nila. So for sensitive data, yeah, VPN. At saka yun, uh, client impose yun. Parang si client ang magsasabi na kailangan mong gumamit nun. That's right. Alright. Sige. Uh, GM, ikaw, natry mo na ba itong mga microworkers, Amazon Turk, or Clickworker? Or if somebody would like to look for a data entry job, ano mga advice mo sa kanila? Saan sila hahanap? Um, I am aware of those websites, pero kasi ang hirap kasi kausap, especially hindi um, hindi uh, secure yung payment. So I I I have since uh, stopped uh, using them, and I consider it lang ako sa Upwork and Freelancer.com because uh, yes, ano sila? Uh, they're parang easy to deal with, and kapag Um, kapag nag-work ka, 
uh, if the milestone is set so upwork or freelancer.com uh, you know now you're, you're gonna get paid at the end of the uh, at the end of the day so um i'm not saying hindi maganda tong mga website because they're really legit naman but you just have to have a way to para establish trust with the person that you're working with and you just have to use your common sense and inside instinct na is this for para is it to be true no pero yung instinct na yan at saka yung common sense minsan hindi na nade-develop kapag bago pa pala so you have to really take the risk and get some jobs and uh siguro uh, take like for example naka 10 10 up naka first 5 or 10 hours kana then tell him na okay you we have to send a payment diba instead of you working for a week na you're not getting paid so if the if if wala lang miles for sa mga website niya better to get paid every 5 or 10 hours so na try mo na to sila microworkers.com Um, no, no, that I'm just aware na ganyan. I think I, I tried this uh, best jobs PH. Uh, yun, uh, lagi ko yung ginagamit. Sometimes I get jobs from there. Mm, okay. Hindi entry din. Binibili ko sa mga tao kasi ako. So sila Amazon, itong mga mechanical turk, click worker, tsaka micro workers. So mga alternatives with sila, pero personally, hindi mo pa sila na-try kasi mas nakafocus ka nga sa Upwork.com. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then, um, di ba sabi mo, sa Upwork, ang daming uh, pag may data entry job, I remember in one of our webinar sessions, sinasabi mo na marami nag apply So, anong suggestion mo sa kanila? Kung halimbawa ang data entry yung gusto nilang fokusan, ano yung pwede nilang gawin para makakuha sila ng job? Uh, first and foremost, kasi merong mga, you have to build your skills, yung mga verified skills. Sa Upwork na silang tinatawag na Upwork tests. So, hanapin mo yung mga uh, tests test doon na related sa, sa data entry. Kasi, um, the way the algorithm, uh, the way the, the Upwork algorithm works is, iuura doon sa mga, mga Upworker na nag-apply. If you have, um, I mean, a good job score, a good uh, star feed, yung mga feedback, for uh, very com very complex yun. um yung feedback naman yung parang star and when you when you finish your job bibigyan ka ng parang what the five rating ng client at then din itatanong dun sa client kung um uh, if you want to work with this person again in the future so it's it's a one to five uh um uh, number range so zero is unlikely and then ten is most likely so um yung yung possibility mo to be on top of the of the uh, uh para provider or um uh, applicant dun sa isang job posting hindi depende dun sa mga factors na yan of course the job score the feedback and yung mga ibang questions na sinasagot ng client when they end their contract with you so ang um, an other way then to prove your uh, uh, yung success mo to 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 get jobs you take tests kahit yung freelancer.com meron sila ng ganun so lalo na kung wala kang masyado experience pa or mga job job uh, uh, job completed pa sa upwork or yung mga mga popular uh, platform na yan marketplaces na yan better to take tests uh, and kung hindi ka makaku uh, what i mean Aside from doing that, pwede ka rin kumuha ng mga, um, mga certifications sa mga online like Udemy, di ba? Udacity and all, and then put them there in your uh, profile. JM, medyo hindi na nag-load kagad sa akin si Upwork. Can I transfer the screen to you and maybe you can show yung screenshot ng test? Ah, okay. Hold on. Alright. Upwork. Oo. Para makita nila kung anong itsura ng test. Uh, while waiting for JM to say that he's ready at ibigay ko sa kanya ang presenter rights, uh, do we have questions at this time na you would like to pose at maaring uh, sagutin ni JM or pwede ko rin sagutin? Uh, if you have questions, you can type your questions using the questions box. And uh, you can also... 
uh, press the raise your hand button and I can unmute your microphone so you can ask your question. JM, ano nang rate ngayon ng mga data encoder, by the way? Yung mga data entry. Usually, uh, uh, 3.5. I won't accept anything less than 3.5. Okay. So, dapat ideally, kapag kumukuha ka ng online job, yun ang isasuggest mo na at least 3.5 ang singilin o kung, kung first-timer ka at gusto mo lang magkaroon ng client. Sa Upwork kasi, ma'am, sa Upwork kasi, ma'am, bawal na yung less than $3. Uh, hindi ka ma... Um, kahit mag-bid ka ng less than, two, uh, less than $3, hindi accept ng Upwork. Okay, so because that's a statewide policy. So um, technically, a minimum bid is three dollars. Yes, that's right. Minimum. Okay. By so the way, if you want to hire a person, a client, na less than less than three, uh, less than three, hindi siya yaya allow ng system because that's the that's the policy. You cannot you cannot hire someone for for a project na less than three dollars per hour siya. All right. And for those of you joining this uh, webinar session at kung hindi kayo naka-join ng Freelancer Bootcamp at first time nila nakikinig kay JM din, ito yung Upwork profile ni JM, no? So he's an Amazon uh, e-commerce, uh, e-commerce Amazon FBA refunds, feedback removal at Amazon account help. Yun ang kanyang ginagawa. So lahat ng mga projects niya at kasama doon sa mga team members niya ay related sa e-commerce na ang ginagawa nila ngayon. So, JM, ready ka na pakita yung test? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. Sige. I-transfer ko sa'yo. Hold on. Uh, lower yung question mo. Yes, we're gonna post it. Sige. JM, siguro zoom in mo yung screen para lumaki yan. Control plus mo. So, halimbawa magtitake sila ng test, saan sila magtitake ng test? Kiklik nila yung ad? Uh, Where do they go to take the test? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Pero saan sila pupunta para mag-take ng test? Okay, you have to click on this uh, add button. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you click on that add button, So, um, it will show a list of the multiple click the entry, for example, in the search. So, wala. Data. Okay. Data interpretation. So, this, these are not, you know, typing. Okay, wala. So, let's see. Computer skills. Search. Meron kaya yung transcription? Okay. I would suggest now you take computer. Let's see. I think yes. Let's uh, yung ano? Transcription. Spelling nanta. Yeah. Right, hold on. Yeah. Wala. So there. If wala dito, pwede ka naman mag-add kasi dun sa profile mo. And uh -oh. what? Esa eh, ano kaya? Uh, Freelancer.com meron? Q. You can do it. Uh, ako, ginagawa ako. Uh, yung hindi pa masyadong nag-iiba yung policy ng website na to, yung uh, uh, freelancer.com. You know. Ako pa lang ako. Kasi zero pa lang yung ako. Yan. So kahit bago pa lang ako nun, uh, I don't need to uh, to take tests. Pero ngayon, kailangan talaga mag-take na test na kapag bago ka pala. And madaming na, sobrang dami na ng mga data entities sa mga ganitong platform. Hindi na sila nag-a-accept. 
So, try mo mag, uh, if you're new, try mo pumasok. Hindi ka nila usually i-accept. So, sabihin ng Upwork, marami na. <laughs> Ang nangyayari lang sa akin, kaya napapasok ko yung iba because maganda yung performance ng VPro agency ko. So, sabihin ko <laughs> na merong, uh, usually naman, totoo naman, na merong nag-hire sa akin na, ay merong nag-hire na, na, na isang client sa akin na he needs like three or five people. So, kung wala available sa mga existing roster ko ng mga data entry specialist, I would I would tell up for now. I have uh, I have a client who wants to hire five people from me. So, yung mga existing ko, hindi available. So, mag, mag, gusto kong ipasok ng mga limang tao. So, ganun ang gagawin ko. May mga suspended kasi na accounts na hindi kapasok because uh, marami na nga data entry specialist. Napapreactivate ko sila. Alright. You know, and usually, kapag data entry, hindi ka na kapasok na. So test, let's see. Uh, so I'm interested. Me too, because I don't take exams. Uh -huh. Let's see. You should be somewhere deep. Okay. Ito wala na nga dito. I can't see it. Try mo sa profile mo, baka ganun din yung mag-add ka ng skill. Tapos doon nila i-require yung pag-take ng test. Hindi kaya ganda siya dito. Sa so, baba, yung pag-add ng skill. O, oh, i-edit mo muna yung profile before you can add your skill. I think it's along, along, along the top. Yes, yes, yes. Ayan, get certified. Sa taas. Ayan, get, ayan, get certified. Ayan. Yes. Stand up from the crowd. That's, that's your skills. Okay, uh, get started for five bucks. They are charging for skills. Wait, what about nung so, data to data entry? So uh, probably when you start, let's see. Learn more. Again, you search skills this, yeah. Trans nothing typing data entry data data structures nothing so siguro talagang hindi na test yon <laughs> pwede ba i-assume yon na parang hindi na kailangang i-test Uh, meron na tayong ko yung portfolio ko. One. Itong um... hindi naman, pero di ba nakik pero based observation natin, parang isa to sa mga skills na hindi mo na siya kailangang i-test. Is that correct? Okay, um, as I said, um yung yung uh, yung if you're a client and uh, nag-post ka ng job posting tapos itundaan yung mga 100 100 contractors yung nag-apply sa job posting mo iuuna pa rin ng freelancer and upwork yung mga kompleto yung profile nila yung information sa profile nila tapos merong information do sa education merong information do sa uh, employment dapat po punuin mo talaga all right jm there's a question here oh Need mo ba na mataas ang specs ng computer mo in order for you to date to do data entry? Ay yung profile mo, yung all the necessary, all the necessary. Pick na tree. So office ko sa Pampanga nung nung nag-off sa ko doon. Yung mga dito yung computers lang na pang data entry si mga 16,000 to 20,000 pesos. <laughs> sobrang sobrang mura lang. So you don't need uh, parang high uh, 
uh, uh, high, high tech computer para to, to do data entry. But it pays to but it pays to have a really nice machine, no? Kasi kung talagang if you're really um, if you're really serious, if you're taking this job seriously, you really need a good machine. So if you have the money to spend, I would suggest that you get a good machine. Preferably, you have you should have a Mac computer and also a Windows computer so that you will be able to test on both machines or, or computer environment. Yung mga websites na tinetest mo. For so, uh, mid-site kasi, yung client, sasabihin niya na, oh, can you, can you uh, open my website? Tapos iba, iba, yung, iba yung itsura niya kapag nasa Windows, iba rin itsura niya kapag nasa, nasa MacBook. So, um, yung mga MacBook na mga parang 50,000 pesos, uh, yung parang entry level lang, maganda na siya. If you have money, I would suggest that you get that and also get a, a decent Dell machine no? or a, a ThinkPad, Lenovo. Uh, those are the trust. So, um, uh, to be honest, spend spend the money if you have it. I mean, get a good machine. Okay, thank you very much, JM. Sige. Uh, do we have more questions from our participants regarding uh, looking for data entry jobs? Pero JM, di naman natin mahasabing obsolete na ang data entry jobs. No, no, no. Ang dami pa rin. Ang dami data entry jobs. Marami. It's just that kung papasok ko ngayon, bago pa pala, mahihirapan ka talaga sa upper. Kasi hindi na sila, hindi na sila tumatanggap mo. Parang dami na talaga mo. Because so, I have a friend who worked in Upwork and she also says that na nagbabawas na sila. Actually, may mga kakila ko mga friends ako na they're very successful in freelancer.com. Tapos pa time, this friend of mine, uh, apply siya ng, uh, nag-apply siya ng nag-apply sa Upwork. Sabi niya gusto kong tuloy ng job sa, ay, yeah, tuloy ng job sa Upwork. So, nag-apply siya, nag-apply school, nag-application siya. Tapos na-cancel yung app, na-suspend. Sabi ng Upwork, uh, you've been sending too many jobs. Uh, yeah, you've been you've been making too many applications. And uh, parang it is inimical to the work, to the, to the market. Kasi parang, parang nag-apply ng mga job posting na hindi, wala ka ng skills, sabi nila. Kasi parang meron parang... Um, parang nade-detect yun ng, ng Upwork, ng Upwork uh, server mismo na okay, kapag mabilis ka mag-apply uh, parang bots ah, si bots kapag mabilis ka mag-apply nakasampu ka in this parang time period parang i-stop ka parang si-suspend yung account mo and then may mag, mag, mag check na sa back end kung bakit or sometimes they won't check i-check lang nila kapag nag-reclam ka when you launch a complaint Usually, they want they want ano. Kahit ako na tinry kong tinulungan yung friend ko na yun to, uh, to get her account reinstated, pero wala pa rin. So, I would suggest na if you really if you really want to, then um, baka mahirap. Pero you can still try. Kaya nga, kung kung, di, kung um, hindi ka makapasok sa data entry jobs, try to get new, new deals. Siguro, learn Excel, learn Word, get certifications. Meron yan sa Udemy at saka mga uh, edX, edX website. You can pay like $19 to take the exam, uh, to take the, uh, to take the uh, cert certification. May training and then certification, mga $19 lang sila. Some are free, some not. And most of the time, uh, so get, get those, get those first. Spend the, spend the next three to six months uh, taking certifications before you uh, enter up to, para hindi lang kita enter yung, ano, yung skill mo. So, pero tingin mo kung magjo-join sila, kapos let's say ang skills na ipapasok nila more on research o kaya uh, customer support o chat support, tingin mo ano pa yan? May, may opportunity ba doon? Or hindi na rin tumatanggap for that? Frankly speaking, man, for data entry, mahirap talaga. No, no, hindi uh, data entry. Uh, try, try. Ah, hindi data entry, I mean... Yung customer service... Customer service. I'm sorry. Customer service. Um, I have no idea. But data entry research, sobrang dami. It will be very, very hard to be honest, man. And uh, how about transcription? Kaya nga, sabi ko nga, uh, transcription, 
I have not actually I have no idea because I am I am avoiding transcription because in 2010 and 11 a transcription of I was taking forty dollars per per ano per um per one minute forty dollars per one minute sobrang hirap I cannot I can I can't do it okay sige all right pero de definitely hindi dahil hindi hindi dahil hindi sila matanggap hindi dahil sa wala ng opportunity kundi marami lang kasing tao na yun na ang skill na pina-provide is that correct exactly exactly and siguro pwedeng magbago yun in the future but right now my friend says from Upwork who works in Upwork na it, it can change but right now talagang sinara na nila yung um, yung uh, door nila for people who, who who only have data entry as their primary skills sa uh, profile nila. So sabi ko nga, if wala ka pang accounts sa Upwork and you're trying to join the platform, the marketplace, before you do that, you have to take mga mga upskills pa, like Excel, Word, get certifications. And then para malagay mo sila. And then kapag mag-create ka na ng accounts sa Upwork, huwag lang data entry research ang lalagay mo dun sa title mo. Because automatic kang, automatic na hindi siya matatanggap. So sabi mo, uh, you're MS Word certified, MS Excel certified. You have a uh, visual basic, uh, visual basic knowledge, and then visual basic certified. Mga ganon, siyura ito pa All right, thank you very much, JM. And then, uh, do we still have questions from our participants? And then, of course, if you're still starting, apart from creating your profile, uh, kung habol niyo magkaroon ng experience, I would I would suggest checking out. Clickworker.com, uh, pwede nyo rin i-check out si uh, mturk.com at saka si microworkers.com to also get started. At saka nakita, pag nakatry na kayo ng mga ibang jobs doon at na-approve na kayo, then pwede nyo gamitin yung mga jobs nyo doon as possible na pwede nyo gawin yung skill, like application tester, di ba? Uh, kasi parang karamihan ng mga nakikita yung jobs doon kaya hindi naman gano'n kalaki yung bayad niya kasi technically, puro testing yung mga pinapagawa sa kanila so baka yung mga gano'ng klaseng work pwede rin siguro yun dahil I'm sure there's a lot of room for testers din no? kaya na madalas imbis na piniplay sila sa mga traditional outsourcing platform sa mga micro job sites sila ginagawa kasi very specific yung mga tasks na pinapagawa sa kanila Alright, so do we have questions? Pa ba? JM, would you like to add anything before we wrap up our session for today? Um, I sent I sent the link to uh, yung sa edX and Udemy. Maybe you can share it with them. Uh, take exams, uh, I mean, take certifications, uh, $19 lang, mayroon mga free. Sa edX, maraming free. Pero if you want certification, you need to pay. No? You have to pay. Pag sinabi natin certificate, pay $19. Uh, uh, ano yun? Certified ka o technically para may certificate ka? Parang may certificate ka, ma'am. O, oh, kasi iba yung certification sa nag-earn ka ng certificate. Kasi pag sinabi yeah. nag-earn ka ng certificate, nag-take ka ng test, ay nag-take ka ng course, kapag siguro may test, kaya ka mayroong certificate of completion. Pero normally, that's not... Ah, yes ma'am, malimbawa. Uh Oo. -oh. Yung Excel, mayroong ibang certification from Microsoft. So if you want to be a certified Excel, yeah, I'm for not, example, not, advanced user, not, you have to take not, that certificate. Uh -oh. That's right, that's right. Yes. Let's see. Um, tignan ko yung, ano ko, yung... All right. Ito. Can you see my screen? I'll give you presenter rights. Okay. There. So, yan yung course. Pero assign yung certification.
you give me Excel to uh, Excel from beginner to advanced course. So that's it. I'm not. Uh, I, I am not. Yes, it's good to clarify that it's not certification coming from Microsoft, but it's a certification na you took you took a course in Udemy. EdX maganda din siya. edX.org. And daming free dito, but you won't get parang certification na you were able to complete the course. But you can you can pay certain amount of work mo. Yeah, free online courses madami. Maganda rin to, tong edX. Okay. And I if you have a lot of money, uh -huh. you can do it. Udacity. Udacity. Maganda to. But usually dito mga $99. Alright, JM. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, so do we still have questions from participants? Uh, sad suggestion din ni Aristotel yung alison.com daw. Pwede rin daw siyang isang resource na for people to learn. And of course, marami din namang mga websites pa na nag-offer ng free learning. And then yung sa... I think ang maganda doon sa pinoint out ni JM, meron siyang MOS exam, tapos meron siyang voucher. Pero normally, all of these test te tests are proctored, so meaning hindi siya kailangan mong pumunta sa isang testing center para ikaw ay ma-test. Alright? So, that's it. Thank you very much for joining this session on data entry jobs. And as JM said, maraming job opportunities for data entry. But the challenge is, in a lot of the financing platforms right now, since there are so many people who registered in the system as data entry persons or, or people with data entry skills, kaya marami sa mga bago ang hindi natatanggap. So I would suggest being creative in looking for data entry opportunities. Uh, you can contact your LGU, dahil manigurado marami mga data entry opportunities dyan. Marami mga businesses na dahil hindi pa rin sila computerized, paper-based sila. Marami dyan, merong mga data entry na opportunities. Uh, yung mga nag organize ng mga events, kadalasan wala silang recording or transcription ng kanilang mga events proceedings. So that is also an opportunity for uh, data entry at may nakakabit na rin uh, transcription. And then, of course, marami rin ang kailangan magpa-research pero walang merong, wala silang time and therefore may need to hire people who can do research for them. So, if this is something na of interest to you, maganda siyang pasukan, pero gaya nga ng sinabi ni JM, you have to be more creative in looking for opportunities and not rely on freelancing sites alone to get projects. No? So, hanap-hanap tayo. And then, of course, pwede rin kayo mag-join ng mga local sites like 199 Jobs, um, online jobs, at kung ano-ano pa. At pwede kayo mag-submit ng profile niyo doon as a data entry professional at web research, lalo na kung na-tune in niyo yung ating last session on web research. All right? So thank you very much again for joining this session.